it's supposed to age whiskey. It says ultrasonic alcohol aging accelerator. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a whiskey that I don't particularly like. We're going to uh, take a sample of it and age it uh, in this thing and see if there's a difference between the control whiskey and um, the one that was aged in this ultrasonic alcohol aging accelerator. Okay, so we're continuing on with our little experiment here. We've got uh, Crabby's yard head. Yeah. Yard head. Yeah, it's we're going to guesstimate about 500 mils. Yeah. Uh, just, 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 just do the are. whole thing. But leave some for us. Yeah, of course. There's plenty. Don't worry. Okay, so we've got a mason jar. See, these mason jars are going to start to come in handy. Uh, these were sent by Mike Menert, uh, which had whiskey samples in them, huge whiskey samples. Mike! <laughs> and and so, um, what we're going to do is put this... <laughs> right, grab his yard head. Yeah, and that's... a jar, and this and this is the ultrasonic device. Uh, we have water in there. It must be filled with water, so... We're going to put that in there. Really, ideally, I would do this, because we're going to the top. Okay, it's in there. So, just really the bottom is in there, in the water. And it's set for 120 minutes, which is two hours. That's sort of the minimum that they suggest for whiskey. Um, yeah, but this is not a full bottle. No, but um, that may be to our benefit, yeah. Okay. 120 <laughs> to 240 is, is the setting for whiskey, so two to four hours. Okay. Um, for other spirits, you can go less than that. And apparently, from what I read, there's a commercial outfits that do this, and they... Uh, do it for a couple days. Okay. Um, and that would be a couple of days uh, ultrasonic is apparently can be equivalent to up to sort of three to five years of aging in a barrel. I see. Um, and you can also oak spirits with it. You could throw oak chips in there if you wanted and um, they'll really bring that color and flavor into, into the liquor. So anyways, it's set now for 120 minutes. So really all I have to do is hit a start and you're probably going to hear a noise. Hit play. Now, what it does for me is degassing, so this blast. Well, it appears that I'm the only one left. We've tasted four whiskeys tonight, and we're doing this little experiment with Krabby's Yard Head and with the Ultrasonic Alcoholic Aging Accelerator that. My friend Scott brought along with me, but it seems that Scott's on the side. He doesn't want to be on camera anymore. And Lisa's sleeping on the bed behind me. And uh, here we are. We got we got the Krabby's yard head, and we've got the Krabby's yard head that has been put through the alco ultrasonic alcoholic aging accelerator. I'm going to see if there's any difference between these two. <laughs> Any discernible difference. <laughs> Any difference at all. I'm going to pour a quick sized dram of the Krabby's Yard Head, which I really didn't like. Okay, there's the Krabby's Yard Head. There's still half a bottle of this stuff. <laughs> Good gosh. And here is our mason jar that was put in the accelerator for. Two, two whole hours. hours. Two hours. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna pour that. I might give this to somebody to take home. I don't know. But, whoa, that's more than a quick size gram. No, it's just right. Okay. <laughs> a little flexibility in there. Right? Oh, there's always room for a little wiggle there, Scott. You know. It just is what it is. But that uh, uh, but uh, oh two quick size drams. Here we go. Okay, now I gotta have a sip of water first. And it doesn't hurt that I've had four good drams already. And these are bottled at 40% alcohol by volume, so I'm gonna probably find them kind of quite thin and weak. Now here's our Krabbies. What's this one here? What do I get? <coughs> mm. 
I got some apple. Apple. Now, does the one that's been through the process smell any different? It does. <coughs> oh, it does smell different. This one has a lot of that apple forward. Fruity. Not much vanilla, not much, a little bit of caramel, yeah, okay. But it's just off. And this one here, which is our, uh, this one seems to have a little more going on in it. <coughs> Even though this, this has been in the refrigerator for a while, it's still a little warmer than the room temperature crabbies. That's okay. A few degrees won't make a bit of difference. I had a professor back in the day who used to say, what's a few degrees between friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was one of my favorite, favorite uh, professors back, back in the day. And we're talking 40 years ago. <laughs> Does that mean I'm getting old? I don't know. The white beard must show it. Anyhow. We'll do this. We've done some artificial aging of of crabbies. Well, this is thin and doesn't really have that much going for it. That was the uh, bottle, the un untreated? That was the control, yeah, that was the bottle. Yeah. And this is the one that has gone through the process. Now, on the nose, to begin with, I'm getting... I'm getting something else. I'm getting some of the sweetness has been removed, and maybe it's been a little bit more uh, smooth. I don't know. Okay, that's the nose. I'm going to taste it now. Mm. Ah! That is remarkably different. So it does, in fact, actually do something. It does do something. But what it's doing is it's taking away some of the smooth sweetness. It's equally smooth as it was before. But it's giving me a little more complexity on the finish. It's a little more, there's a little more going on, but that doesn't mean that you can take a bad whiskey and make it good. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to try again. I'm going to, uh, okay, I'm going to nose again. Now, let me have a, a, a sip of water first. This is completely subjective and I've got no one to bounce this off of. The one that has not gone through the accelerator process is uh, it's got some apple note and it's fresh, uh, fresh but not necessarily good. It's Crabby's after all. One of my least favorite whiskeys that I've ever tried. 
no age statement, 40% alcohol by volume, Highland single malt, Scotch whiskey. Hmm. Really forgettable. Mm. It uh, it does benefit from a few drops of Laphroaig. Now I'm going to the uh, one that's been through the process, through the process of ultrasonic alcohol aging called accelerator S assessment sonification. Sonification. Short term. You want to call it sonification? Okay. Yeah. Well, they they call it that as well for the short sonification of. Well, it's been through the Illudium Q33 Sonic Accelerator. To quote Marvin the Martian. <laughs> Flux capacitor. The flux capacitor, <laughs> yes, the flux flux capacitor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good one. Okay. So we, your your statement, it can't turn a bad whiskey into a good whiskey, but. Can it make Krabby's palatable to you? A little more. <laughs> a little more, but still not on your list. Of... Well, here, try it. <laughs> I can't. I have to drive. you got to drive home. I have to drive home. Damn it. Yeah. I'm a big guy, but I'm not that big. I would say that it's more interesting after it's gone through the process. It's a little more bitter, and it's a lot less sweet, and it does taste somewhat older, but it doesn't taste like a well-aged whiskey, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. um, That's what I was sort of dubious about, because I thought, okay, aging in what regards, right? There's, there's, there's several factors that are involved in what, yep. where those flavors are coming from. There's fusel oils. From, from the wood um, and the barrel you're aging it in. There's char. Mm -hmm. There's evaporation because that's go, you know, going on. There's, um, there's a bunch of things going on there that can't all be accomplished simply by blasting it with ultrasonic waves. It's not as sweet as the control crabbies. And I would say that the control crabbies was a little too sweet. Mm. Yeah, it's it's definitely more oaky. Okay. So if the no, we can try this again. I mean, we could get a Johnny Walker. We could throw we could throw a Johnny Walker. I still right have these. Yeah, you can try them next well, time you we, come over. We could also, we could also try something like the simple Johnny Walker Red and see if we can make what we can do to a Johnny Walker Red. I mean, yeah, that's. I mean, speaking on some of my least favorite whiskeys, potentially, uh, yes, <laughs> yes, we could. But uh, I would say that it's taken some of the sweetness out. It's added a little to the complexity. It hasn't made it a great whiskey, no, but it has, it has taken some of the youth but they, out of it. They never claimed it would make the great whiskey. No, right? <laughs> no it, it has taken the youth out of it, definitely. Or some of the youth. That, what was that scene? That's a, that, that's a good one. So it doesn't so much age it as blast the youth out of it. <laughs> yeah, it, I'm reminded of that scene in My Cousin Vinny where... The youth? <laughs> the ute. <laughs> the ute, this ute, your honor. What is a ute? <laughs> yeah, I'm just reminded of that scene. Yeah, that was a Fred Gwynn classic. Um, I think it's like a small lizard or a skink. No, no, wait, that's a newt. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, think that you got it, you got it. Anyway. Having tried this, 
the um, ultrasonic alcohol aging accelerator has definitely made a change to the uh, uh, Krabby's yard head. And it also makes cold brew coffee and lives on vitamin C <laughs> as well. You should be in the advertising business. Well, I mean, I did spend money on it, so I've got to figure out something else to do with it because it's clearly, uh, we've, we've established there's probably not enough really uh, fire in there to be doing well, things with liquor. Seeing as this is a Highland single malt Scotch whiskey, Slanchava. Food quick. 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 Food quick.